Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. Hopefully all you beautiful creators out there, my soul family, are doing great wherever you are in the world. I know there's so many people out there struggling, or having a very difficult time in our crazy great transition that we're experiencing right now. And if that's you, just wanna let you know that you are loved, you are deeply supported more than you'll ever know, and that I'm sending you a virtual hug of love and light, and hopefully that helps you. So today, I, this video really is about a discussion around our beliefs and how that impacts our work and our uh, identity around work and money and abundance. So before I go any further, know that these are my truths. These are my experiences. They don't have to be yours. You use your own discernment, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also, if you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift here, I've got uh, my book is out, Becoming the Creator, a Practical Guide to Spirituality and Connection my personal memoir of going on an inward journey to find the pieces of me that have always been there, the truth of who I am, and finding more peace, love, and joy, and empowerment in my life. And so this is basically a guidebook chock full of exercises and practical things that you could do to find the same thing that I discovered in your own spiritual path. You can find this on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Books A Million, etc. And if you buy it, thank you for the uh, support. So let's get back to the discussion here. All right. So uh, I had a conversation with somebody a little while back and in the conversation discussion we had, uh, they had expressed to me this particular statement. I have to work for five more years and hopefully check out with some F you money. F being an explicit and you money. I want you to think about that statement. I have to work for five more years and hopefully check out with some F you money. I want you to think about the implications of that statement that this creator is expanding from and expressing to me in that moment. All right, there's a lot to be extracted from that, right? I have to work for five years. Well, why do we have to attach time to this, right? Why five? What, what's with the arbitrary number of the five? And does that seem like a disempowered state or an empowered, or an empowered state, right? I have to work for five more years, okay? Also, I laughed at the idea that I want FU money, right? What is FU money, right? Why, does, why do we have to have the FU part of that associated with the money? So there's a lot that can be pulled out that this creator had shared with me that can give you insight about who you are as the creator and, and the beliefs that you're holding on to. And if that's something that you have said in your own personal expression in your reality, I want you to really think about the things I present here in this discussion, right? Because uh, um, this really shows you a lot of some of the limiting beliefs that you may have within your own energetic field or the limited beliefs that were projected onto you as the creator. Now, I'm not financially inept. I, am, I, I have been working in the financial industry for more than 15 plus years. I know the financial concepts that are at play here, time value of money, putting in your time now, power of interest and returns, etc. right? I have worked in the financial industry and I've helped people through these ideas that we have collectively be, uh, agreed it to be true about, you know, save now, work hard, get the returns, delay gratification, uh, gratification, yes, it does work, and those concepts are all taught and projected onto us, right, well, uh, ever since we were little, right, from our parents, through academia, through society. These things are all true to us because we have co collectively agreed them to be true. But the thing I want to also present in question for, for, for you guys is that do these statements, do these beliefs that we have within us up until now, do they still really serve our level of consciousness? Or is that old energy? Is that old beliefs that we're thinking of and that we continue to have within us uh, even though they don't serve us? Right? Why do these beliefs still sit within the core of you even though they may not resonate with you anymore? Yeah, this, is, this, this discussion, I hope, is an opportunity or a window for many of you creators to kind of look at yourself and question the things that, how they're supposed to be, right? The structure or the construct that we have built around ourselves relating to work, savings, earnings, 
getting that F you money, you know, what beliefs we have around those things as us as the creators and whether or not they serve us. So when I hear the idea of I have to work for five more years and hopefully get that F you money, um, I have, I'm intrigued. I mean, I, I'm, I have to dive in a little bit more. So through the conversation, I had to ask several times, you know, what does that actually mean? What, what does that mean for you? Like, why do you have to wait five years? Like, what does money represent to you? What does this F you money mean to you? What's the state of being you were trying to achieve, right? And what I got out of this discussion was that ultimately they were talking about financial freedom. Freedom, the state of being of freedom. And what led to a lot of this, what ultimately led to this discussion of where he expressed the statement to me was through a disclosure of the experiences that he had growing up with his family and, the, and his parents and, his, and what his parents had said to him about their parents before them. Our identity of which we as creator are creating from in this particular time associated with abundance and money could be very convoluted with what we think is what we want when in fact it could be a projection from our parents before, uh, parents from us and their parents before them. It is a underlying state of being we're trying to achieve but a lot of these beliefs that we are holding on to may not be what we actually want but rather than what other people have told us that we should want right or what it should be and how it how it's supposed to be so this is why i want you to question what your beliefs are because when you think about money and you think about abundance there is a state of being you are trying to achieve and in this particular case it's about freedom Right? And so when you look at that idea of freedom that they're trying to achieve, we have to ask the questions, well, what limited beliefs do you have currently that is stopping you from getting abundance or feeling that freedom of which you're trying to achieve? And it turned out it was a lot of these projected beliefs about money and what it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to look like that is stopping them from feeling abundant, even though they really are pretty abundant and financially free. This is very important for many of you guys to question because you as a creator are creating a structure from which you are expanding from. You are a source fragment seeking to understand itself. And through this projected beliefs that you're holding on to, you are expanding in your reality as well as, as well out into the collective, these limited beliefs that you have around abundance and money. And we need to question whether or not that serves us anymore. And are those our beliefs or are those someone else's beliefs, right? We all have these little beliefs around abundance and most of them are projected from our parents. Most of them are projected from society and, and the things that we've integrated with us and they don't serve us anymore. So you have to ask, do your beliefs that you have around money, do the beliefs that you have around work, do the beliefs that you have around abundance are these things that your parents told you that you had to do? You know, where you told, hey, you need to work hard, you need to save, you need to hold off doing something to reap the benefits. What about society? What about the society structures of which are projected onto us? What did they tell you about abundance, right? Did it say that it only could come from working hard, working overtime, climbing the corporate ladder, right? Or uh, 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 do your beliefs around money and abundance, uh, abundance have to deal with the idea that um, you need to fit in, right? You need to prove your worth, right? So are your beliefs that you have around money and work in uh, abundance, are they based in fear, right? Are they limiting beliefs that, they ha that you have that are keeping you from feeling joy, peaceful, and happiness in your life, or the financial freedom, right? This, this ultimately leads to the question here that I'm trying to get at is that, are your beliefs around money, abundance, and around work, 
the fear beliefs, keeping you from becoming your full potential. Right? Suppose that, let's take money out of the equation. Suppose that money wasn't an issue. Then what would you be doing? Would you be doing something different? Right? Are you doing what you are passionate about? Or are you doing it because you need money? And you think that this is the only way to earn money, to get that financial freedom or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Right? Are you doing something or playing small in your life because the fear or the limited beliefs that you have? And are those limited beliefs really around lack or is it about self-worth or is it about something else in your life that's been playing out as a pattern? All right. Are you playing safe in your life because of fear? I want you to really think about this. Are there underlying issues that you are holding on to, i.e. perhaps self-worth issues, that you have spun around yourself, that you keep telling yourself regarding work and making money that's keeping you from your full potential? Right? Does, you know, does your self-worth issues make you think that you have to work all the time to prove that you are a good employee? Or does your self-worth issues really mean that you have to work so much that you have no balance in your life, yet you have to work inhumanely, self-sacrificing your physical and mental health for money? Now, there really isn't a right or wrong answer. It's really just trying to become more aware of the constructs and the beliefs that we hold as a creator here. So there's no judgment because these things serve you as a creator. They serve a purpose up until now for you to become aware of it, for you to understand who you are and to see whether or not these beliefs that you hold on about yourself uh, are, are going to continue to move forward to serve you. You know, I hopefully, I hope that what I'm talking about here excites you, right? Excites you to inquire about yourself, to inquire about the truth of your creations, to, to inquire about like, why is it that I work in this job I don't like anymore, but I do it because I feel comfortable, it's what I've always known, and that, um, that it makes me feel like I feel safe. When in fact, it has no alignment with what you want and what you want to be doing, right? Inquire about what is occurring in relationship to your job and money in abundance so that you can see where things are misaligned with you energetically and to see whether these beliefs and the constructs you hold, these projections that you've held on to rather serve you anymore, right? Because what I can say is that you don't know what you don't know. You, you're kind of, you've kind of built this world around you that's in a box and then you only know what's inside that box. And, and in, that, in that idea that you don't know what you don't know, you are only allowed to see up into what your beliefs hold. And it isn't until you question those beliefs that you, you won't be able to go outside that. You won't be able to see beyond these, these things, these purviews. And you really need to question these things that you're holding on to so that you can open up yourself to other avenues of source abundance, uh, other beliefs around money, under other, other beliefs around um, um, yourself that could bring a lot more peace and joy in your life than, uh, than it has up until this point, right? So what I mean by that, I want you to think about this idea that my energy is energy, right? Energy is always there. Energy is always uh, um, existing. It never, it can't be destroyed. It can't be created. It just transforms and, and, and becomes something else in a reality, right? It's always shifting into different things. So abundance in the universe in terms of its energy, it's always there and it's always in abundance. So what you perceive as some type of lack, for instance, or some type of self-worth issue in your reality as the creator, the universe is abundance in that expansion. Meaning that if you believe in, say, lack of money, the universe shows you a bunch of experiences in abundance about your lack of money. 
or if you have self-worth issues, the universe shows you a bunch of experiences in abundance about your self-worth issues. So the universe is constantly abundant and you as source are constantly available to the abundance of the universe. The problem is, is that you have put a limited belief lens or um, filter over it to help you only see that aspect, although it is abundantly available being seen through your lens, right? There is always abundance. So if you believe in nothing, the universe is going to bring you an abundance of nothing. It isn't until we question our beliefs that we get to see the other side of this coin. We get to see the other aspect beyond these limited circles that we built around us, the abundance that has always been there. So treat yourself to that idea when it comes to your relationship with money and abundance and what you have work. Because what you've built around yourself, these projections, are keeping you somewhat limited in how you can see the world. And it isn't until you question that that the availability of the universe and what you as the creator are able to work from becomes obvious in your, in your reality, all right? I talk about a lot of these things in my book, right? Especially in chapter eight in my book regarding manifesting and abundance and money, right? There's a reason why I hold off keeping that chapter until closer to the end uh, of the book. Because for you to get to this feeling of abundance, for getting an idea around money, for you feeling like you were supported, etc., requires you to really question your beliefs and to become truly aware of it as the creator of the underlying unconscious belief that have been projected onto you and for you to break free from that so that you can see the abundance, so that you can see yourself as an aware creator creating a reality based on limitation. So I hope that little discussion helps you inquire about yourself, around your job, around work, around abundance, around money, and perhaps that frees you up to receive, to become the state of being that you were desiring to become. Perhaps it's around freedom, perhaps it's around love, perhaps it's around acceptance or validation, but you've limited yourself from it because of the projected beliefs that you hold on to. Time to question that because a lot of these things no longer fit with us. They no longer resonate with us as a vibrational energetic being and we need to move forward in a more open source access to source that would be bring us a lot more joy, peace, and love in our life. So I hope that helps you. Talk to you soon. Take care.